Welcome back to Gamer U. We're back at the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot again, and today we'll do a basic class breakdown of the Knight. If there ever was a complicated class of the game, the Knight would certainly not be it. It comes off in his demeanor and speech that he likes to do exactly two things, smash and grab. And boy is he really good at it. The Knight is your melee masher, and can clean out rooms with plenty of ease due to his innate tankiness and a good mix of AoE and single target damage. Each skill tree works to fill in some of the gaps in the Knight's foolproof plan of just smash everything and ask questions later. The first tree is the Mana Mastery tree. These abilities are used to generate mana that might be missing. This is huge considering your other two classes can bring some massive punishment if they have the aid of an ability that will generate loads of mana. The second skill tree is the Combat Techniques tree. These are your tank abilities. Like in most games that have a tank class, these are the abilities that stun, shield your knight, and generally make the fight stacked against your enemy by making you completely unkillable. The last skill tree is the Dragon's Fire skill chain. These are your raw damage abilities. A kit without at least one of these abilities leaves you vulnerable to not having enough damage to deal with your foes. Yes, swinging your sword might be all the fun you would need, but having just one of these abilities in your HUD can be the difference between a 10 minute clear and a 20 minute clear of a castle. All these abilities center around your primary objective, to swing your sword and get out of each castle encounter alive, so it won't be a question of how you survive with the knight, but how you'll do so in style. That's it for now here at GamerU. Check back later for more guides on the mighty quest for epic loot and other games.